Hi everyone and welcome to Budget with Cat. It's Tuesday and I am attempting to do my 100 envelope savings challenge boxes. So I hope you'll stick around. Okay, a little bit of housekeeping. One, if you're new to the channel, the 100 envelope savings challenge boxes I do continually. I'm kind of a glutton for punishment because I actually do two. Um, one is the beast. I call it the beast, the budget with cat box. It's 100 envelopes, one through 100. It saves you $5,050. This one is a 100 envelope savings box, but it yields me 2000. And I do them at the same time because I like to show you how you can mix up the way you do these. You don't have to do them the way everyone else does, which is what I really like to show you. And this money comes from all side hustles. So it's either Etsy or YouTube. And sometimes it's, um, my judging money, but I, my dance judging money, I've been putting someplace else. So this is just Etsy and YouTube. And because Etsy and YouTube kind of ebbs and flows as to how much I might make per month, I've just kind of, I'm just paying myself around $300 a week um, based off of the average that I'm normally selling. And that does include at YouTube. So sometimes I might make a couple hundred dollars on YouTube. Sometimes it might be $400, but you know, in the next month it might be two. So sometimes I, I used to stuff all of it per month and I might start doing that, let's say it's March. Maybe in April, I'll start divvying it up so you can see more accurately um, a stuffing like that that might be bigger or smaller. But for right now, it's easier for me to do that. Okay, <laughs> that's just for those of you that are new to the channel. And those of you that are new to the channel, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for subscribing and liking and commenting. I truly, truly enjoy it. So we're gonna unstuff some of these because if you don't know, I don't like to stuff big amounts. They're intimidating to me. They take forever, blah, blah, blah. So I did an unstuffing here in which I took out the first row, the first 33 envelopes and pushed them down here. So now I have some of the 90s done. I'm gonna kind of do the same thing with these because I have fives, tens, fifteens, twenties, wait, 5, 10, 15, 20s, and 50s in here. And what I want to do is take some of this out and switch them out with some of these 50s. I won't be able to do very many. Put these 50s in here. So I'm going to do a really quick bill exchange, and I think I'll do it in my bigger numbers if possible. So watch. So here's a um, 15, 45. How much do I have? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30. So I think I'll go like this. I'm gonna, I'm actually just divvying it up a little bit with the bigger amounts. I hope it's not driving you crazy. Plus I need to make change, so that'll make it even better. So these are um, the mini envelopes that I make. This is the assortment between florals and patterns. So it'll be a mix. And if it makes you feel any better, this is paper I've been hoarding for probably a couple decades. I've had, I love paper. I love to craft. I love to do scrapbooking and make cards. And anytime I see paper go on sale, I usually buy it. And then I thought this is crazy. So now I'm taking my entire stash and turning it into envelopes. So yeah, so this is the many I have. And these are the 50s. I'm, oh, uh, 51, 52, 20, 40. 240 is actually what I'm going to be stu oh, stuffing in here eventually, but I want to switch out the 50s. So let's just pull some money out. Um, I don't think I have any 20s yet that are stuffed, but I see eventually what happens is if you keep putting a lot of small bills. Now in this one, because there aren't any 90s or 100s or anything like that, no big deal, right? Like this will fill, I've done it already once. It fills up nicely and the box doesn't get crowded. But let's say you do have 90s and you have 70s, 80s, 90s and 100 envelopes in here. The ones that say those amounts. If you put small bills in every single one of these, eventually the box will get really full. So you will have to either, um, I've done several bill exchanges when my boxes start to get full and I put 50s and 100s or mostly 50s where they're needed in those upper amounts, if that makes sense. So I'm just pulling out the bigger amounts because you know, I'm gonna keep my fives in there because those are the smaller amounts. And let's see how much I have so far. So I'm going to exchange these for the 50s. So here's 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Gosh, I hope I'm in camera. Here, let me do that again. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So I'm going to take this 50 out and put this 50. Um, basically what I'm doing is... I'm taking this to make change, right? So that's what I'm gonna be stuffing 
in some of these other boxes. And then this 50 will go back here into this $50 one. Is that clear as mud? I don't know. Okay, so that's gonna go back here. That makes me extremely happy. Okay, and then I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So I'm gonna put another 50 in here. And I'm going to put this 50 over here. And I'll pull another one. So here's another 50. So basically, I'm just taking the small bills out, putting the big bills in, and then I'll have less 50s to stuff and more of the little stuff. I think I have a couple more 50s, do I? Let's see what I have here. Yeah, look, I have two more 50s to exchange. So let's pull out some more envelopes. I can pull out some 10s. So 10, 20, 30, 30. Uh-oh, did I do all of those? Did I, did I? Oh, I have more tens to do. Okay, that's okay. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Yeah, I'm gonna have some more fives to do. That's okay, that's okay. So look, I should have a total of $100 here in a variety of fives and tens. So look, I'm gonna move this over for just a second so I don't get it all mixed up. So, and then it's also kind of nice to like, see how much you've saved. I mean, you put this money in here to do the 100 envelope savings challenge and it takes a long time, you guys. Um, unless you are just, just doing this challenge and nothing else, and you know, guys know that I like to do mini challenges and I'm saving to get out of debt and I'm doing all these things that, you know, you could really take your extra money. It could be extra coffee money, extra takeout money, extra dollar bills you have in your wallet, and then put it in these envelopes. When my son Will was saving with me, he had a small box like this and he was just putting $20 in each envelope. And I think I just got an order for that. I'm working on it. I think it's a black, white, and gray box and you wanted all um, 20s, these labeled all in 20s, and I have that almost ready for you. So when I finish with this, I should have $100 sitting here. Look at all these fives. Huh. That's all I had. There we go, there's a 10, and here we go. There's another 10. So these I'll organize and put back in the box, and I'll continue to stuff the fives and the tens and whatnot. And I actually may end up restuffing today in here, which I know may not make a lot of sense, but you know, I don't always make sense. All right, so here's 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make my change, put all my money over here, this should still be um, 240 when I'm finished. And I'm going to pull two more 50s. There's a 50, the little green polka dots. And I'm going to pull another 50. Oh, look at that. Kind of southwestern. So now what I've done is I've stuffed some of my 50s, and there's 20 of them. I think I've stuffed four or five. And, you know, now there's less. And when I get ready to stuff today, which I haven't even planned it out, I'll pull from the front. I'll pull some of these fives. Whew. Okay, so let's organize. There's lots of fives here, and I don't have a bunch of ones, so I may have to stuff, you know, whatever it is I have. Oh, man. Okay, let's see what happens. I may have to make change, but, you know, I made change a while ago, so this is what happens when you don't necessarily plan. So let's count. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yeah, 240 is what I should have to stuff in my boxes. Well, not all of it's going in my boxes. So some of it's going into debt and... Um, taxes and all of that stuff. So let's get ready. Let's see. Um, in this one, let's say I'm putting 10 
percent into debt. And so I'm going to confuse you even more because I did get my last paycheck for my very last dance judging job. And that was $400. Now it was a little bit over like 425. I just left the 25 in the bank and moved it over electronically into my taxes um, account. So debt was empty before, if you recall, I think I put over $1,300 toward credit card number one. So that leaves me with 604. Now I know there's a little bit of um, interest, but here's what I'm gonna do just for right now, because I haven't checked the balance. I am gonna put that I added $400 more in here. And also I, my first payment of March, which is $100 also went in here. So right now I have 100 that already went toward this 604 balance and I have another 400 sitting here. So I'm at 504. So I'm gonna let it stockpile a little bit more and before the end of March, I'll hopefully pay this 604 balance off. So this is going in there for my judging. And then 10% of this, the $300 that I normally save would be 30. So I think for right now, I'll just put fives in here. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So now really, let me add another 30. I know I'm putting minuses there, but this is now 530, which means I only have about $70 left. And I feel like by the end of March, with all of my um, Etsy, if I'm putting at least $30 in here, minimum a, um, a week, I'll have this paid off. So one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, I wish I could keep judging because that money is sweet. It is so sweet. Okay, so there's that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is $90, it's 30% toward taxes. So I do a lot toward taxes. I would consult your accountant if you're starting an Etsy shop and you're trying to figure out how much you should put away. I do a lot because we pay a lot in taxes. So that's just how it is. So I'm gonna put 90 in income tax. And let me see. Well, let's get this open. I hope you guys have been doing okay. Um, like I've said before, work has been crazy busy. Um, my regular full-time job, and then I've been busy with Etsy, and um, my husband is in quasi-retirement. Oh my gosh, I can't get this open. What? And um, so he's kind of getting used to that. He's still working but he just won't be on his school campus anymore. Oh my gosh, I cannot get this open. So these are the, the vinyl envelopes and I've had these for over a year. Like we're talking like a year and a half. And occasionally the zippers, there we go. The zippers um, come off and I just have been too lazy to, to replace it. Okay, so $90 goes in here and I think I'll do, let's see. So here's 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. Oh, that leaves a lot of fives, doesn't it? So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90 added to income tax. So let's just organize it and get it counted. So here are some 20s. Again, income tax, man, it kills us every year. Not gonna lie. It's really, really hard, but um, it's one of my priorities to save for. So um, so by April, hopefully we'll have it covered. 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. Is that 475? Yeah, I think so. Not too shabby. So there's that. And then the leftover, whatever I have left over is what I can stuff in my boxes. And since I don't have a lot of change, I need to kind of play around with this, right? I could probably do some things that are in increments of five, like five, 10, 15, 20, like that. So let's see, let's play around. Here's five, here's 10, here's 15, five, 10, 15, 20, one, two, three, four, five. Here's 25. So here's 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then these three I can stick in here. So let's start with here. I mean, there's no method to my madness, y'all. That's just how it is. So here's a 10. Ooh, do I have a 15? I know I do. 
yeah, let me start with 15. I know it's not as, you know, dramatic, but it is a bigger number. Have I gotten to 15s yet? You know what? I lied. I'll pull out a 10 and a 5. So here's a 10 and a 5. And I'm just going to start restuffing because probably in about two or three months, I'll do another little bill exchange and exchange more of these for the 50s. Is anybody else doing this? Is anybody else taking their bigger numbers, condensing them, turning them into, turning them into big, like a bill swap? And there we go. Even though there's less money that I can look at, I know that three or four of these are 50s, and that makes me happy. So there you go. Check these out. They come in black, white, and gray, pink, a hues of pink, and the variety, florals and patterns. Okay, so for this, I'm just going to, now I'm going to have to find all these envelopes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's do that. So these also come in variety. This is the, they only come in variety. Sorry, I don't have enough time to customize these as much. So 5... 10, 15, 20, and so next time I'm going to have to find change. <laughs> okay, this, I think this, oh wait, there's 25, I don't know where that one came from, 25 and 30, there you go. See, so you just save any way you can, any way you want to, don't worry about it, if it's different than others, you just do you, right? Uh-oh, I want to make sure... So last time when I got to stuff, let me turn these around. Last time when I got to stuff, I, um, you know, condensed everything down. It was so exciting. And look, here they are. 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, and I had $2 left over. I actually stuffed $100 in each of these. So it is, I'm going to have more than 5,050 and it made these really, really thin. Okay, let's get to stuffing. I think I'll go ahead and color because, you know, I always forget. So I'll do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Look at that. Yes. Kind of exciting and when you buy these boxes you also get this little mini tracker nothing special just a way it fits in both boxes really nicely so we'll start with five sorry if this one's getting a this video is getting a little bit longer but i like these two because they don't peekaboo um people have you know everybody has preferences and i had people say are you crazy you're making that many varieties of boxes but you know i don't mind it i'm kind of weird 15 i kind of like it is that weird that i like it I don't know. There you go. And then here's 20. So my husband, if you followed me, know, also know that he has been in a cast for about two or three months. He just went to the doctor's, or he's at the doctor's right now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And he is, he, they, they transitioned him from a big old cast to just like a padded 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I don't even know what you call it. His foot has just been in like this, they call it a football wrap, but they just basically wrapped his foot. So I'm hoping when he goes today, they will downgrade him to just like that orthopedic shoe that just wraps his foot to keep it safe. Okay, look, you guys. So see how it can get really thick when you just do fives or ones. So eventually, no, not right now, but eventually I will continue to empty these out. But it'll be a while. I will at least get through the 30s again, maybe even the 40s, and then I'll bump all these small ones down and try and fill the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Oh, it's taken forever. That's okay. Slow and steady, right? Okay, so there's a quick synopsis of the 100 Envelope Savings Challenges as well as stuffing my debt. Join me on my journey as I pay off my first credit card, and then after that, all of that money will snowball into paying off my car, which hopefully I can pay off in about maybe three months, four months max. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, hitting the thumbs up and all the things that you do. Um, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.